What's up, YouTube? It's such a beautiful day today. I just wanted to get out and ride. So get out and ride we are. Although right now I'm just going to cruise up Peachtree Street because decent views. Just there's a lot of out of towners and they don't seem to understand what it means when the light turns green. <clears throat> We're all about sitting back there waiting. <sighs> That's alright, they come down here to spend money. That's what's not gonna go, they won't even pull up to the light. Yeah. Anyway, you two, what's up? It's freaking gorgeous out here. Oh my god, what the fuck, man? Alright. Not sure what is making all these people so accelerophobic. They are definitely scared to death they might make it somewhere. Or worse, somebody else might make it somewhere. <laughs> Oh, but it's such a beautiful day outside. Summer is finally here. And actually, today is my anniversary. Can you believe that? Been married 14 years. Actually, we've been together 19 years. So it's pretty awesome. I'd do it again if I had the choice. Yeah. I know you're wondering, what are you doing out riding your motorcycle on your anniversary? And it says, unfortunately, my wife had to work for a little bit today. So while she's doing her thing, I come out here and make a video for the peoples. Because, <laughs> you know, that's what it's like. And I was like, well, let's don't have time to really go anywhere far. But I could go show you some of the local scenery here in Midtown. Which is interesting sometimes. <laughs> oh, I love Atlanta. It's a great city. But sometimes I wish we were not in the state of Georgia. Because we do some silly things in this state when it comes to laws. And now it's going to start costing our state money. And that's a shame. And I don't want to get into the whole debate thing about abortion and all that because, you know, my feeling is if you don't like abortion, don't have one. If, you know, my real feeling is, you know, if you can't get pregnant, your opinion on abortion is not relevant. So, but... But the point is, these kind of laws drive away business. And it's a very bad business decision. This guy can't make it into his own lane there. He finally figured out he was turning. I guess he was just going to sit there and look at his phone. There's a red light up there somewhere. I'll just stop back here and consult my phone try to figure out where I am <laughs> people do get lost in this city it's, uh, it's not laid out in a grid like a lot of cities one the way Atlanta is built is we're on the ridge right now on top of the hill peace tree and everything falls off either you see it's downhill to the right and it's downhill to the left so Peachtree runs along the ridge and the uh, so this is like the main strip here and because of the terrain and because of the rapid rebuild after the Civil War it's not really laid out in uh, consistent, you know, square blocks or anything. Yeah. 
and so sometimes the roads can be a little confusing especially for visitors and suburbanites which I guess are also visitors they'll they'll tell you they're from Atlanta when they when somebody from around the country asks them where they're from they'll say Atlanta and they go oh I got a friend who lives in Atlanta what part are they from well uh, Alpharetta <laughs> like okay that's like saying you're from New York City and then somebody saying what part and you're saying Hoboken because <laughs> Yeah, those are like two different worlds there. Oh, good God, people. It is just driving. And this is 17th Street where the Atlantic Station shopping area is down that way. It's very popular, especially with the suburbanites. A lot of them drive down specifically just to go shop there. Yeah. Which, you know, it's got decent shops and everything, but in the end, it really is just a mall. And now we're crossing out of Midtown into Buckhead. Which, Buckhead has its own challenges. It is crowded like a city, but laid out like suburbs. And sometimes has a suburban kind of feel to it. Especially when I'm driving. Come on, people. Because this is mostly shops and things like that. So you can see you've got a lot of people who are just cruising slowly and looking at the sites and the shops and the restaurants and trying to decide where to go. Instead of focusing on driving and getting somewhere. <laughs> but hey, that's Buckhead. This is the official cross into Buckhead is across what's the interstate and then there's the Amtrak station but yes the official beginning of Buckhead is right up at the sign right there the Buckhead community and I believe it was named that way because there actually used to be a giant buck's head mounted at the entrance to this part of the town because this was the suburbs of Atlanta now it's part of Atlanta. So think back then, it might have, Atlanta was called Terminus to begin with because the whole point of Atlanta in general is that it's in a location that was convenient for the railways to come together at the foothills of the Smoky Mountains. And the Blue Ridge Mountains, and I guess, I guess has more accurate. Um, but it's, the point is this geographic location was perfect for matching up to the ports in Florida and to many of the other uh, areas of the country to match the up with it. So this is like a, it's always been a transportation hub originally for railways and and now of course with the world's busiest airport which is way down on the south side technically in a town called Hapeville. But yeah, Atlanta is very spread out, much more like Los Angeles, where everybody drives and everything's... Our, our public transportation system is not great, but it is doable, and if you live in the right location to work in the right location, uh, it's a handy way to get around. And, but I like living in Midtown, I work in Midtown, and I could technically walk everywhere I need to go. I only ride the motorcycle so I can go fast enough to come home for lunch. Come on, Virginia, try to keep up with traffic. You know you're supposed to. Yeah, now they're going to slam on the race back here. That's some brilliant driving there. Actually used to live in these apartments right there that old brick building the current population of Atlanta sign oh they got more information on there now look like it's 6.8 million 
It's just, you know, not too many considering how spread out it is. Alright, these people are just break happy. I gotta get out from behind them. Every little curve seems to scare them to death. I used to ride my bicycle to work when I lived at those apartments. But in the morning I worked across the street at a car wash that's not there anymore. Then I went to school and then in the evenings I would ride my bicycle down here and take a ride at this light and ride up about a half a mile into this neighborhood where there's a little restaurant that I worked at. It was alright. I only had to take my car when I'd go out to where school was, because it was out in a town called Decatur, which is kind of out there. It's possible to get out to Decatur and DeKalb County area using the subway and buses and stuff, but it's not as convenient as if you live along the lines here. And back then, to tell you the truth, it was a little bit scary. It's like, hey, those people might get past somebody. We better jump over here and block the road. But yeah, we're up here in Buckhead, and there's Park Place up there. And I think Elton John keeps a penthouse at the top of that building over there. <sighs> We're Beth definitely about to get up into the central shopping district of Buckhead. Used to be the party district of Buckhead, but uh, it's it has uh, more than gentrified. They've run out all the fun bars that used to be there. By complaining about the noise as they keep moving in more and more expensive places for people to live and of course when people who can afford to live in expensive places complain things get done so. just a little bit of breathing room that's all i needed yeah there wasn't nobody in that lane why would you pull out in it What a shame, because this is one of the best curves here in Buckhead. I love this little curve, but we will not be able to get to any speed at all. I can tell you already. But okay, yeah, Atlanta's a fun place to visit. Come on out and have some fun, you know. Taking some of the culture. We got some good museums, great symphony. All right, guys, it's green. One of you figure it out. It's like they're all wait on each other. It's like, no, I'm stupider. You go. Oh, I'm stupider. No, you stupid. I'm stupider. Uh uh. I don't want to be the stupid one. Jesus. But yeah, traffic up here starts to really suck. <laughs> It can get congested in Midtown, but usually that's on the interstate, and that's just people who are from out of town on their way through <laughs> when they should use 285. Now, if you are headed to, you know, from up north and you're headed to Florida and you know you're coming through Atlanta, save yourself and all of us some headaches and go around on 285. I know your GPS is going to tell you to cut straight through the city. But it just means you're going to be in eight lanes of traffic that's moving faster than you think it should have, should be. And you're going to be scared and you're going to hit the brakes and you're going to make people mad. And you don't want all that, man. Just, you know, just seriously go around 285 on the way when you're headed down to Florida from points up north. <laughs> But if you want to stop in Atlanta and, you know, 
enjoy some of our fabulous cuisine you know our great culture we are a serious melting pot here you got a lot of diversity in this town but it's a brutal place to live if you don't have some money and that becomes an issue for a lot of people and you know and it is a it's a tough town it doesn't take any prisoners they don't chew you up and spit you out you don't have it going on <laughs> but it's a fun place to live especially if you ride a motorcycle because it's pretty much a 12 month riding season here we don't close actually we do close if it does snow the two days every couple of years it does snow we just shut everything down everybody takes a day off it's awesome <laughs> so Oh, uh, you waited until it was green, then you went, man, come on, what the hell, go. Oh, uh, they got to stop to go over a bump, you know, their SUV can't take <laughs> a bump. Okay, trucks. Accelerophobe, man. Do it, idiot. Asshole. Act like they weren't doing that on purpose. That's a fucking sad thing. But I know exactly how these motherfuckers are. It ain't your fucking turn yet, dumb motherfucker. Idiot. What are you doing, dude? You don't have to stop back here for the stop sign. You can go all the way up to the stop sign. <clears throat> Damn. Yep, that's one of the problems up here in Buckhead is people are just treating it like the suburbs. It has all the same mind-numbingly and excruciating features of the suburbs. I want everybody to go slow. man fucking hillbilly it's your fucking oh damn pick a lane man what the fuck how many fucking lanes do you think you need dude oh god I hate driving okay let me get back to the fucking midtown where it's not as stupid <laughs> oh shit 